In this beginner's guide I'm going to show you step by step how to use Bravo as a complete beginner. The first step is to head over to eliascrauser.com slash Bravo. Now this is basically my personal affiliate link which will always get you guys the best deal out there. As you can see Bravo actually recently did a big relaunch and they formerly was known as Send in Blue. So once you are right here you will basically have to head over to the join for free button. So first of all you will just have to put in your email and then you will have to set up a password for your account. Then you will have to click on create an account. And now you will have to verify your account. So Bravo is going to send you an email as you can see right here which you will just have to confirm. And once you have done that you can get started with the basics. Just put in your first name, your last name, the company name and if you want to you can also put in your website then click next. And then you will have to put in your address and also the country you live in. Now I will have to blur this because these are all my personal information. But you will just have to put in these informations on yourself. Right here you will have to answer some simple questions like how many people are in your company. And also um, how many contacts do you have. Now for this video I will just select no contacts yet. I also do not sell online. And I will also select that I do not want to receive any product ideas. Then you will have to uh, validate your phone number. Um, so I will just quickly do that. And after 30 seconds I now got my verification code and now I can verify my uh, my Bravo account. And right here you will have to select the plan that you want to get started with. Now I will just go with the free plan for this video and I would actually recommend you to Go with the free plan as well if you are a beginner, if you are not that experienced because you will get most of the features that you need to get started with. Now other than other email marketing providers, uh, Bravo is actually going to charge you per email sent out. So as you can see the free email plan will allow you to send out 300 emails per day but you could technically have unlimited contacts on the free plan as well. But obviously if you have a lot of contacts you would want to upgrade so that you can send out more emails. As you can see the starter plan has some useful features like for example you could uh, you can remove the Bravo logo from your emails which makes your emails way more professional which is something to keep in mind when choosing a plan for Bravo. Once you've successfully registered this is what your dashboard is going to look like. As you can see on the left you have different kind of apps and you can also add some more apps by clicking right here. And right here you will then have to select what kind of apps you want to add. Now for example if you want to get started doing SMS campaigns you will have to click right here and so on. Now before we can get started importing our context, setting up email campaigns and then setting up automations we will actually want to head over to send us and IP and then to send us. Now every email that we are going to send out using Bravo will have a sender attached to it. Now for me by default this is going to be eliascrauser.tutorials at gmail.com because this is the default email that I've signed up with. But I would actually recommend you guys to add a custom sender with a custom domain because that's way more professional right. So you can actually do that by clicking on add a sender right here. And then you will have to put in your name. So for me this is going to be Elias. And then the email that you want to use. Now for me this is going to be Elias at eliascrauser.com dot com and then you will have to click on save and to then actually use your email you will have to verify it. Most of you watching probably already have an email list somewhere else so I will quickly show you how to actually import that email list into Bravo and if you don't already have an email list you can just skip this next part as always I will leave you all the timestamps down below. Now you will have to click on contacts and right here you will have to click on import contacts. Now you can either upload a file to import your contacts or you can just copy and paste your emails. I will just upload my excel file. So as you can see you will just have to drag in your files. As you can see this is just an example file uh, which I've created beforehand and you can see a preview of your file and you will basically have to check if uh, all of the details are correct. So basically the name uh, is correct in my case, um, the email is also correct and all the other things are also correct. So I will click on confirm your file. The second step would be mapping data. Now it is actually pretty common to not only log 
uh, the name and the email, but to also log things like IP address, uh, date added, tags and so on. And in this step you will basically have to connect the data to the right attribute. Now as you can see the first one, uh, all of these inputs right here are basically first names. So I will just click, so I will just select first name right here. And now Bravo basically knows that these things right here are the first names of the email addresses. Now the emails are already by default set to email. Now all of these other data entries are basically not important for me. I most of the time only try to get the email as well as the first name, but all of these other things are not that important. But obviously you can just customize this to your own email list. And once you are done, you can click on confirm mapping. And then you will have to select the list that your context should get imported to. Now by default you will just have your first list, but you can actually also create a new list. And I will just uh, name this list YouTube Tutorial. You can also select the folder that your list should get stored in. And once you're ready, just click on create a list. And then your list is going to be selected. Now you can actually import your contacts into multiple lists. But for this video, I will just import my contacts to YouTube tutorial. And I will just click on confirm your list. And right here, you will have to finalize your import. Now you have all of these different kind of options. Basically, the first one is update the attributes of the existing contacts. So my, uh, my YouTube tutorial list basically doesn't have any existing contacts. So this doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter if it's turned off or on. If you want to block list the imported email list, if you want to block list the SMS contacts, um, you can do that. And you will also have to confirm this opt-in agreement, which basically just says that all of your contacts um, explicitly gave their permissions to be in your newsletter. And once you're ready, you will have to click on confirm your import. Let me show you how to set up a form so that people can actually subscribe to your newsletter. Now, to get started, you will just have to click on create a subscription form. Then you will have to set a form name and I will just name this YouTube tutorial. And if you are from Europe, it actually makes sense to tick this right here as this is required by European law, I think. And then you will just have to click on next. And now we can design our, uh, our subscription form. Now this is super easy to use and pretty self-explanatory. Right here you can see a preview of your uh, subscription form and you can also change the view right here. So as you can see, this is how it would look like on mobile, for example. Uh, and if you want to add some elements, you will just have to drag them onto your subscription form. It's super easy, basically. Now one super useful field is this attribute uh, field, basically. So I will just show you how it works. So I will just drag it onto the uh, subscription form and as you can see right here you can then uh, basically ask different kind of things you can ask for the SMS last name first name whatsapp and so on and if you want to question a custom attribute you can also do that by uh, I'm sorry you can do that by clicking on create a new attribute right here so for example if you want to um, let's say so if you want to for example ask for their birthday uh, to then give them a special discount on their birthday. You can do that and you will then have to set the attribute type. And for this case, in this case, this obviously would be date. And then you will just have to click on OK. And as you can see now, we can actually ask for their birthday. But I will just delete this for now, um, as I don't really need it. And once you're already customizing this, you will have to click on Next. As you can see, they actually recommend you to use reCAPTCHA uh, to prevent spam bots from adding fake, fake data to your list. Um, I personally don't really do this, but obviously it could be very useful in some cases. Now for step three, you will have to select the list that the input should get added to, that the context should get added to. For me, this would be YouTube tutorial. Then just click on next. And right here, you can set the settings of your subscription opt-in. Now some countries will actually require you to use double confirmation email by law. So basically just a second email so that subscribers um, will once again have to confirm that they want to get added to your list. So make sure to check beforehand if this is the case for your country. But for me, I will just select no confirmation email. Then I will click on next. And now you will have to set the messages that are going to be displayed to the potential contacts. 
Now we'll just leave this as it is and honestly you don't really have to customize this. But obviously if you want to you can do that. You can for example add a, smile, a smiley face right here. Now then I will just click on next. And now you're basically ready to go. You can use this link right here. As you can see this is going to be the link. And whenever someone is going to click on this link they can sign up to your newsletter. Now you can also integrate this into your HTML websites which you can do by simply just custom by, by simply just copying this and then copying it into your HTML website but for the sake of this video we're not actually going to do that. Let's now cover how to set up automations on Bravo. First of all you will have to navigate to automations and then you will have to click on create an automation. Then I will just select uh, custom automation and then you will just have to give this a name and I will just once again go with YouTube tutorial. You can also uh, set a description. This is just for you so that you are organized and no one is actually going to see this but you. You can also allow your context to enter your automation more than once which doesn't really make that much sense for me so I will just uh, not tick this and then I'm going to click on create automation. Now these automation forms are super useful in kind of a sense where you will only have to set them up once and after you have set everything up uh, you're then automatically going to send out emails uh, to people that, that are going to let's say subscribe to your newsletter. So you can basically create this workflow where you will automatically promote products or services of yours and you will not have to send out every email separately. Now we beforehand set a submission form, so I will set this as an entry point, which I can do by simply just clicking a contact submits a form and then by selecting the YouTube tutorial one, which we've created earlier. Alright, so now whenever someone is going to put in their email into the form that we've created earlier, they are going to be uh, set into this automation. So let's for example say that the first step of our automation would be to send an email to that person that has signed up to our newsletter. So we click on plus and as you can see you have all of these, uh, these options basically. And I will just select send an email. And then you will have to select a template. Now we are actually going to create a new email template. And we are going to set the template name and as always I will go with YouTube tutorial. And for the subject line I will just go with um, let's say thank you, sub thank you for subscribing. And for the preview text um, I will just type in something like I hope you enjoy my newsletter. Now this is just an example, you could for example also promote the product with this, but this is basically going to be the first email after they've signed up. So I would like, uh, so I like to just welcome uh, the people to my newsletter, which is what I'm doing. But obviously you can also customize this. Now you can also add personalization for to this. So for example if you want to add the name, so for example if you wanted to say thank you Elias, thank you Thomas for subscribing, then you have that option right here. Now the from email is once again the Elias Krause tutorials at gmail one, the name is just Elias and then we can actually get to the next step which is designing our uh, template basically. Now Brevo actually offers you quite a lot of free templates. You can also use the rich text editor which would be just text on its own. Uh, but as you can see uh, they have tons of different templates which you can use for completely free. But I will actually show you how to um, create uh, email on your own. Uh, so as you can see they have this super useful drag and drop editor basically. And all you will have to do is dragging all of the elements from the left to the email right here. So for example let's say that I want to start off with a title. So something like thank you for subscribing. Subscribing. And by the way make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now you have tons of different options on how to customize the text which I'm not going to go over because they are pretty self-explanatory. Now let's for example say that after the, the headline right here I want to add an image. Then I can also do that by simply just dragging it right here. And then I can also add some socials of mine so that people that are going to see this email always can uh, get redirected to my socials easily. 
And you can also change the view of your email right here. So if you want to see how your email is going to look like on your iPhone, then you, can, then you also have that option. And you can also set up your brand. Now this is actually quite useful as these options right here will basically work as pre-settings. So for example, you could uh, set up the colors and you could set up the fonts that you like uh, that you like the most and then it will automatically change that on all of your emails and on all of your websites. Setting up your brand is pretty self-explanatory so I will just leave this as it is and for the email I will also just leave this as it is as I don't want to waste your time. Uh, however, obviously you would need to customize this to your own email. In fact, I will just click on save and quit for now. This is going to be the, the final preview. And once again, you can change the view right here. And if you like what you see, you can just click on save and activate. And now your templates is saved and activated successfully. And now you can uh, select it right here. Actually, you will have to um, refresh the, the site and then you can select the email. Yeah, YouTube tutorial. And now the welcome email to our newsletter will automatically get sent after someone is signing up. Now let's for example say that after two days you want to send out a second email promoting some sort of product. Now you can actually do that by simply adding a condition right here. So I will just add a delay and then I'm going to wait for two days. And after these two days I'm going to send out a second email and now we could set up a second email uh, which is going to promote some kind of product which I'm not actually going to do. I think by now you will get the hang of it. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video to don't miss out on any future videos.